Hi, my name is Robert Gray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Arthur Seidel from Electrobit, and we're going to talk a little bit about navigation. Uh, Electrobit has a really interesting navigation component that runs on Linux. It's actually cross-platform, so it's not only just Linux. But I'll let Arthur talk a little bit about your navigation and what you're doing in uh, the automotive space. Okay. Hi, Robert. Yeah, so I'm with uh, EB, and um, well, we're a German company or a Finnish company. We're about 1,700 people. In the automotive space, we are a software provider, an automotive um, standard software provider. So our, our vision is now is that in the vehicle we will see more and more software in the future. Right, because everything I guess is a standard and interoperable. A developer can pick which components they want to purchase from you and integrate. Like they could buy a UI layer, or they could just buy the routing module only. Correct. Or they could buy the routing module with the data, so they could buy buy all. They can pick and choose the best of whatever matches their solution. Correct. Like some of our suppliers, they have uh, very strong engineering capabilities, so they just purchased an SDK from us. Mm -hmm. The SDK provides them everything they need to build a navigation solution, and they build the application on top of it, or the, or the UI in essence. And there's other customers that just uh, want to customize the UI, but don't really have a lot of engineering. And then we do that for them or provide them with the tools that they do it themselves. We've got a lot of developers on our forums. If you're a developer, what volumes would you expect to have to buy into and commit to in order to be able to work with Electrobit and their development platform? Uh, there really are no minimum volumes. I mean, we have, uh, we have uh, pricing brackets that are volume brackets. The higher the volumes, of course, the better. Um, and where we fit into the marketplace is like where if a, if a you know, if a customer has a lot of needs for customization, unique look and feel, integration with other services, uh, then we tend to be a, a, a good option. But in principle, there are no minimal volumes. Another big thing is traffic, of course. Do you uh -huh. take any traffic feeds natively? Like if you were to buy the nav component, do, do mm -hmm. you support anything right out of the box, any, any particular traffic feeds? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's like, now of course, uh, being originally a, a provider out of Europe, so. TMC, which mm -hmm. is free, is a, is a, is a must. Right. Um, uh, also TMC Pro. And now, of course, the same protocols are being applied also here in the U.S. Like, for example, here in this uh, at this show, we're showcasing uh, connectivity with HD radio. Mm -hmm. uh, there will likely also be press release pretty soon, so we will be supporting uh, HD radio. And then, of course... Um, we have a generic API that allows uh, developers to link in other uh, other traffic events from okay. whatever source that might be. And then the API takes care, or the, the, the navigation engine takes care of the, uh, the rerouting or uh, recoloring the map. So th there's a lot of routing providers on the market, and app providers on the market. What do you guys do to distinguish yourself from some of the other, from some of the competition in, in the routing market? Um, where we distinguish ourselves is like where that we provide a solution that can be uh, that's highly customizable and that runs on, on, on multiple platforms. Like we support today, we support uh, the Microsoft platforms, QNX in the automotive space, um, uh, and Linux. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. All right, thank you.